Hello, my name is Di Scott, and today I'd like to read you my story from the anthology It's a Kind of Magic, Stories and Spells by Second Rate Sorcerers. And my story is called Magical Harry. Harry was a magician. He could make coins disappear, pop. He could make tiny balls hidden under cups vanish. Wowee! With a tap of his magic wand, he could make two joined rings split in two. But the one trick Harry couldn't do was to make himself and his friends disappear when the school bullies decided to come after them. Oh, how he wished and wished that he could just disappear, snap. His friend Mia and the others wished they could as well. Harry tried lots of ways to escape the bullies. Sometimes he tried to be a tiny puddle that melted away amongst all the other soft blue uniforms. But bullies like jumping in puddles. Other times he would turn on his toes like a ballet dancer and quickly walk away. But the bullies leapt longer and faster than any ballet dancer. And Harry had even tried talking to them as his voice and knobbly knees wobbled. But the bullies liked to gobble up wobbles until there were only rubbery knees left. He and Mia had even tried politely talking to the busy teachers in the playground. But the teachers would nod and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, as their eyes scanned all the other students. And then the teachers would shout, Stop that over there! Come here to me! Oh, sorry, Harry and Mia, before they stomped off into the distance. One sunshiny day, Harry came racing around the corner of a building and hit an invisible wall. His panting echoed in his ears. His chest felt tight. The air smelled of dust and sweat. There were three of them. Their hard faces, sharp eyes and clenched fists were fixed on one person. Mia. The bullies were looming over Mia like the shadows of giants in a nightmare. Everyone had disappeared. The sounds of the playground were far behind Harry as he watched his friend Mia start to tremble. The only sound in the world, a soft clinking in his pocket. Disappear, why can't they disappear? Why can't they? Then Harry remembered what he had been practicing all his magical life. So he squeezed his stomach tight clenched his teeth together and ran between Mia and the bullies. For my trick today, I shall make these two joined rings split in two, shouted Harry, as he took Mia's hand, tossed the magic rings from his pocket into the air and ran. Whoosh! The rings twisted and sparkled in the sunlight then magically split in two. Zing! Harry and Mia puffed and stumbled as they ran straight to the office. Someone had to know. No one deserved this, especially not Mia. Time for change. And those bullies did disappear. They disappeared from the school for quite a long time. The next time Harry saw them, they turned on their toes like ballet dancers and quickly walked away. What a magician was Harry. Thank you for listening to my story. 
I hope you enjoyed hearing about Magical Harry. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah.